Hello and welcome back to my channel which is all about style and confidence for the 50 plus woman. In today's video I'm going to be talking about dresses and specifically I wanted to talk about dresses for women who are either apple shaped or who have lost their waist or don't have a waist and those who want to conceal a tummy. So I've got some ideas here for you. I have a selection of dresses that I own which do cover these particular areas but I'm going to, um, when I'm editing the video, I'm going to try and find some more for you and slot some in and put some links in. And also my American viewers will be pleased to know that I'm going to do the same for you as well because I know that I do have probably a 50-50 split of viewers who are um, in Europe and viewers who are in the US. So I know you miss out when I put links in videos for different items. So I'm going to try and see if I can find some um, that are US brands for you that you can have shipped within the US as well. So I hope that'll be helpful for you. So let's get into the video. Okay, so let's talk dresses. Now, for me personally, I don't wear dresses that often. Um, somebody had said that they'd seen there were some dresses in my wardrobe, but I don't really talk about them very much. And I know that very often people will say a dress is so simple because it's one thing and you're done and you're ready and all you've got to do is put on shoes and a bag and you're ready to go. But it's not always that easy, especially if you have an apple shaped body or if you have a tummy to conceal, to find a dress that works for you. So I wanted to run through some of the dresses that are in my wardrobe, which I find do work for that particular body shape. And as I have been doing over the last um, few videos, I will slot in a video beside me as well, showing you what that dress looks like on. Or if I don't have a video, then I'll pop a picture in. Some of them I have um, photos of me wearing them. So the first shape that I wanted to talk about was um, this kind of shape, which is really popular at the moment. You'll find these dresses all over the place, which have a button through front um, and a tiered bottom. These have been very popular this season and they were popular last year as well. Now, the reason why this works for me, um, and I am apple shaped, I don't have a waist anymore, is that um, it ha doesn't really have a fixed waistband but it does give shape because it does fit on the bust. You're gonna see in the video beside me, it fits on the bust. I'm actually wearing it open um, in this particular video with a little camisole underneath it because I quite like that look as well. Um, and it does give you the opportunity to sort of change up the colors underneath as well. So if you do find a dress in this shape, which the shape is really good for you, but perhaps the color isn't so good and it's got a print in it, then pick out one of the colours in the print and put a little cami underneath it because that's going to be um, the colour that is up close to your face. So if you pick one of your really good colours, you can make the dress work for you. So this one does fit on the bust and then it skims over that tummy area. We've got some gathering here, so it works really well to conceal a tummy. Now this is a maxi, sort of midi maxi length. So if you are petite, then obviously you might have to take the dress up. Um, there are some brands that do petite ranges and I wanted to mention this as well because somebody had asked for um, petites. So there are a few brands that do have um, different lengths of dresses. Bowden is really good, Marks and Spencers is really good and there are a couple of others as well so I will link those for you in the description box. So that's the first one. Now of course I know I'm going to have some of you saying but it's sleeveless and I don't want to show off my arms and yes on a really hot day what do you do? Well it is quite a hot day today and I've just popped over one of these um, very lightweight linen cardigans, which I did mention in a previous video. Um, I am going to be doing another video about dressing in the heat, so look out for that one as well. Now the next kind of style that I wanted to show you is kind of an adaptation of a shift dress. And that's this one. Now I bought this dress a few years ago. It's beautiful, it's pure silk. 
and um, it hangs really nicely. It's got a really nice drape to it and it's quite um, heavy actually, quite a heavy silk. And so that does work well for sort of pulling the dress down and making sure that it sits nicely and it is fully lined as well. I will try and find something similar. This one was from LK Bennett. Now, the reason that I'm showing you this is because these shift dresses do work really well if you don't have a waistline, but something with a little tie like this, and again, this is a trend that I have seen over the last season or so, if you've got that little truck tie, it just kind of cinches it in a little bit and gives the illusion of a waist. And again, I'm going to pop a video in here of me wearing it to show you what that looks like. So that sort of shift dress is a really good option as well. And on the same theme of the shift, again, I've got another one here now. I know they are all sleeveless. But again, with a shift dress, what you could do if you wanted to is pop a little short sleeve t-shirt underneath it. Very fine weight one that would give you the sleeve on the arm or again, you could put um, something over the top of it. This one, um, again, if you look for something that's fitted on the bust, if it does have a high neckline like this one and you do have a full bust, which I do, then ideally what I would do is put a long necklace on it to create a V or alternatively again by putting something over the top of it like this, I'm kind of cutting that piece of the body and creating that V with the necklace. So if you do need to do that, then I would just put a lovely long pendant on here. And this one has got sort of a pleat at the back and that also works really well with giving you that little bit more room over the tummy area. And um, although this one's linen, it has also got a bit of a stretch in it as well. So look out for dresses that have a little bit of elastane in them or a jersey dress, which has got a little bit of stretch so that you do get ease over that um, tummy area as well. Now, talking about jersey dresses, the good old t-shirt dress is another good option. But I've picked this one out because this one actually has a little bit of a sort of A-line shape to it. Again, I'm going to put a picture in beside me so that you can see me wearing it. But it isn't a completely straight down um, t-shirt dress. So if you can find something that's got a little bit of A-line shape, so again, you're fitting on the bust and you're just flaring out slightly because this one's got a lovely sort of movement to it when you're walking as well. And again, as I would always do, I'd put something on the neck. It could be a scarf, it could be a, um, a pendant necklace, but again, to give me that sort of V shape. Now, other fabrics that work really well, I've mentioned silk, I've mentioned jersey, but other fabrics that work really well are a viscose or a tensile. This dress is from Eileen Fisher. I bought it a couple of years ago. I did actually buy this one in the US. So um, I will link the Eileen Fisher US and UK sites for you. Um, but this one is perfect actually because it's got a sort of shift shape, but because it's in a nice soft fabric, it is quite floaty. It doesn't look voluminous when it's on. It's also got a V-neckline this time. So with this one, we're not showing off a waistline at all. So as I said, there are some tricks where you can show off a waistline and kind of create a waist if you don't have one. But this one, we're just using a sort of skim over. And now this one, I will also put in a picture um, of me wearing it with a little short jacket over the top because Quite often, if you are full busted, you will probably also be short waisted, which I am as well. That basically means that I haven't got much room between my bust and my waist. So it means that I'm shorter in the body and longer in the leg. So normally I wouldn't wear a sort of particularly cropped jacket, but with something like this, because it's got that nice long length to it, I can put a shorter jacket over the top of it as well. So a few extra little styling tricks for you here. 
So viscose tensile is a great fabric. I've mentioned silk. Silk is a great fabric. This is another very old Eileen Fisher silk dress. Um, she does similar things every season. Now, the only thing I would say about this kind of thing is it's beautiful and it's floaty and it will keep you nice and cool. Um, but it is a little bit shapeless I suppose so if you do want to have a shape again what I would do is put a probably put a long necklace down the front of it or alternatively the way that I more often wear this one is I wear it open as a jacket so I'll perhaps wear it over a pair of trousers and a little um, camisole top and I find that is a really good way to use some of these dresses as well. Now this is another lovely jersey dress and um, the reason that I really like this one, it's got that sort of low scoop neckline so it does work really well on a full bust. It's also got, um, I'm going to bring it closer for you to see, it's got a little bit of gathering there underneath as well so it allows to sort of come out and fit the bust nicely without stretching. This one um, is a very old weekend Max Mara one and it did come with its own little slip that goes underneath it because it is quite a fine jersey and without anything underneath it, it is a little bit see-through. Now I would probably wear that on holiday if I was wearing it over a swimsuit or something like that but I do wear it with the little um, sort of slip underneath it otherwise and again with this one it is that sort of fairly straight shift dress um, in a lovely lightweight soft jersey as well so these kind of jersey dresses work well the only caveat that I would put to that is if they fit too well they are going to show lumps and bumps and that's why the little slip underneath does work well and then this is another dress which is made out of um, that soft sort of draping tensile fabric. It's one that you could wear off the shoulders if you want to. I don't because I find it very difficult to go braless. I find it very difficult to wear a strapless bra. Um, so I do wear it up on the shoulders, but it's got that sort of ruching just around the neck, which means that it's really easy and comfortable to wear. And then the other thing about this one, again, it's got that sort of clever tie, which you can tie up to give you some shape. Now you could wear this tied in the front or in the back. I wear it tied at the front because it's another added benefit to concealing a tummy. Now I don't have one here, but another alternative is a wrap style dress that does work really well or a dress that has a little bit of ruching across this area or that's kind of got ruching on one side that catches it in all of those things will just help to conceal that tummy area a little bit and just make sure that you're not wearing something that's really skin tight go for something that kind of drapes rather than sits really tightly if you have to go up a size then just cut the label out of the dress don't worry about what size it is buy what looks flattering on you rather than buying a size because it really doesn't matter as long as it looks good on you and then I've got another dress here. Again, it's an Eileen Fisher dress. I do find that her styles do work really well for me. Um, they are obviously a little bit more premium price, so I will look for some alternatives for you. But this one is a silk jersey, so it really sort of hangs and drapes absolutely beautifully. I've had this one for probably about seven years. Um, I have worn it regularly. Uh, it is quite bare, so I don't always wear it um, bare like this. I'm going to slot in a picture to show you what it does look like as it is. But what I tend to do is pop this little sort of mesh um, caftan top over the top of it and this is still lightweight so it's still nice and cool but it's just that little bit more flattering than having everything too bad that works really well the other thing that it does is it draws the eye up to this area and because you've kind of got the shadow of the dress underneath it you can't really see how big or how small you are and it by drawing the eye up it's drawing it away from that tummy area or the area that you want to conceal as well 
Again, this is another version of a t-shirt dress. It's the similar style to the first one I showed you, but without the buttons down the front. Now again, this one on a really hot day, I will wear it as is. Um, again, I will tend to put something down the front of it, or perhaps I'll put a little cardigan over the top of it if it's um, not such a hot day. But I do find these dresses really comfortable to wear. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comments section. I will link um, as many different ideas as I can for you, as I said, both UK and US. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed I would be really grateful if you did thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye for now